New Tony Stark inventions by Elon Musk. Elon Musk's impact on superhero film culture is undeniable, but always changing, especially his hand in Iron Man movies. To be specific, with Tony Stark, the genius inventor. But the question now is whether Elon just appreciates Iron Man tech or whether he's able to recreate them out of fiction. Hello guys and welcome back to Tech World for another episode of Elon Musk's Invention Appreciation. Today we're going to talk about how Elon Musk is willing and ready to develop Tony Stark's creative imagination into a reality. So stick with us until the end to know if Elon was able to recreate them or not. Now let's get into our video. Wireframe model of SpaceX's Merlin rocket engine. So why are we talking about a rocket engine? I mean, Tony Stark did not necessarily design rockets, did he now? But Elon does. So what is the common ground here? Let me tell you. I think you can remember how Tony Stark, or at least when he's in his Iron Man getup, uses his hands to control 3D projections of different interfaces, right? So Elon does the same thing with the help of different applications. In a recent update, he demonstrated how he can move, zoom, and select different parts of his Merlin Rockets engine wireframe model, just using different hand movements. He also stated how he can recreate the process of wireframe building with simple commands from the brain in order to understand certain parts of the engine. In order to understand certain parts of the engine easily and then to print them out with the help of a 3D printer. What technologies did he use? So here comes the question, what are the applications he used to get this outcome? There are mainly four, CAD 3D model, Leap Motion, Oculus Rift, and a 3D metal printer. Let me tell you a little about all these applications and how Elon used them. CAD 3D model. Engineers and designers may create realistic computer models of components and assemblies using 3D modeling or CAD, computer-aided design. These models may then be 3D printed, CNC machined, and used in complicated simulations. A wide range of factors like strength or temperature resistance may be simulated before any physical models are constructed, allowing for a considerably quicker and less expensive process. So how did Elon use it? Exactly the same as the others who use it. He created the 3D model of his rocket engine on the computer with it including every single component. Leap Motion Next, what we are going to know about is Leap Motion. The Leap Motion enables spatial tracking of the user's hands. It is intended to interface with computers using natural hand movements and gestures. Elon moved on to manipulating an actual 3D CAD model and interacting with the software. You can see that he used a Leap Motion controller for that. He performed pretty much all the same motions as usual. But it appears as though he was able to click certain areas of the wireframe model. Oculus Rift Oculus Rift is a virtual reality headset, VR headset, that is designed to connect to a high-powered PC to enable advanced computations and graphics rendering. The system's constellation positioning technology uses gaze tracking and IR LED sensors to identify the user's position while interacting with the virtual environment. Users can move freely within their physical environment, sitting, standing, walking, turning, ducking, and dodging as they desire. Next, Elon shows off a 3D projection, a freestanding glass projection, Iron Man style, and interacts with the model using the Oculus Rift. So he made the base of CAD and they gave it a little controlled motion and then he used VR to give it more of a realistic look and to operate it with much ease. 3D Metal Printer Finally, we have the 3D metal printer he used as the final step. Metal 3D printing is a laser-based technology that uses powdered metals. Similar to laser sintering, a high-powered laser selectively binds together particles on the powder bed while the machine distributes even layers of metallic powder. So Elon used this 3D metal printer to print out the section he got from the Merlin rocket engine for further inspections. And at the end, he shared his vision to do this whole process with just thinking, rather than the hybrid method we're using now. So do you guys think that this will be a success? Is this the only thing he took from Tony Stark? What do you think? Leave a comment below of what you think about this question. 
So now, let me tell you more on what Elon took from Stark's imaginations and whatever was created in the movie. Hyperloop. So if you can remember the movie, Elon does have a cameo appearance with Tony Stark. There, they had a brief talk about making electric jets a reality. We all know he got electric cars on the market rather than the jets, but there is something else he designed that is a bit more advanced than an electric jet. This transportation system, introduced in 2013 and still in the formulated stages, aims to allow commuters to travel between Los Angeles and San Francisco in 35 minutes or less. That's even faster than a commercial flight. The rail system would work in a tube with extremely low air pressure, which would theoretically reduce drag and enable higher speeds at up to 800 miles per hour with lower power consumption as well. That full vision is still a long way from reality though. The company's first venture is scheduled to begin construction next year with the five mile loop around Quay Valley, California. The biggest speed bump, the cost of the land and technology to make this a reality. What's even more interesting is that he plans to use this method of transportation when his colonization of Mars plan succeeds. He said that it'll be much more effective there than on Earth. Which could be the truth. What do you think? Is it better to be used here or on Mars? I mean, I won't refuse if you say this is almost like a bullet train in Japan, both in the shape and mode of transportation method it uses. But if it really could be used on Mars, this could be phenomenal. Are you guys tired yet of Elon's sky-touching creative ideas he plans to realize sooner or later? Elon's Electric Jet I mean, though I said Elon's Hyperloop took the place of the electric jet Tony Stark talked with, it doesn't mean he gave up that idea. But last year at MIT's Aeronautics and Astronautics Centennial Symposium, he said he was toying with the concept. Musk also mused on the Colbert Report about the opportunity to have a vertical takeoff and landing electric supersonic jet, which uses electric motors to drive a fan, which in turn propels the aircraft. It would not require a long runway, so airports could be smaller. If you think Iron Man is the only movie Elon is after, you're very wrong. He does have a small dabble in the movies like Venom, Superman, and Batman Dark Knight as well as a bit of Captain America on the mix. I mean, they do have some cool things that we would like to see in real life. Superman's X-ray vision and laser powers, Batman's Batmobile, and Captain America's indestructible metal shield to name a few. I mean, we don't need superpowers as a human, but it would be cool if we can see these at least as physical options. As for the X-ray vision, there's already a touch with implanting various nerve tech into the brain. So I don't see this as an impossibility. Talking about neuron tech, did you know that Elon has a hand in this field as well? Neuralink. Brain implants for neurological conditions might seem like something of the future. However, Musk is working to create wireless brain computer interfaces to do just that. Neuralink, which was successfully implanted into a pig, creates a digital connection between your brain and a computer. In addition to mapping out your brain, this link could work to communicate with brain cells and improve neurological functioning. For instance, a paralyzed person with a Neuralink chip implanted in their brain could control a mouse and keyboard without moving their limbs. Information could also be transmitted the other way and allow the person's brain to stimulate the sense of touch. How is this accomplished? Neurons in the brain generate electrical signals, and electrodes placed nearby neurons can capture and record those signals. While the technology is much more complex, in a simple sense, replaying these signals can simulate the actual sensation of different experiences, such as holding an apple or even kissing another person. There's also talk about how this chip could let you hear music in the brain itself directly. I mean, bye bye for the monologues, and welcome to happy times. So guys, that's all for today. Did you learn something new about the inventor's connection between Elon and Stark? Do leave a comment below about what else you think Elon should start on. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. And until the next one, take care and stay safe.